Thank you, Valent. Well, time now is 9.15, and Poppy Day is celebrated in countries around the world. It's to honor those who have fallen and support the living who have worn our nation's uniform. And here to tell us more from the American Legion is Philip Burnett and Gary Hall. Thanks so much for being here, gentlemen. Yeah, Thanks I'm, for inviting us. Yeah. This is Philip. I'm Gary Hall. All right. So tell us a little bit about National Poppy Day. Well, uh, it's National Poppy Day is uh, May the 27th, but uh, in Peoria, it's gonna, we're going to be at the stores 26th, 27th? 25th, 26th, and 27th. Right, right. I knew I was going to get that wrong. <laughs> That's, but, um, yeah, we'll be at the stores. Uh, we gonna, got, we got both Walmart stores, both Hy-Vee stores, and both Snuck stores in Peoria. We'll be there from 10 in the morning till 6 in the evening. Okay, and if someone donates, this is what they're going to get, correct? Yes, ma'am. That's right. Those okay. are... Awesome. And should they pin it to them or tell us a little bit more about this? Uh, go ahead. Well, uh, people will put them wherever they want to put them. There's no set place for those to be. And, uh, you know, it's just the idea that uh, I know people in Peoria I are very generous and they support the veterans. So we do appreciate their help. Yeah. How does it make you feel when people donate? I uh, I feel great because I know that this money is going to be go the money we collect goes to the the nursing homes, uh, yeah, the nursing homes, uh, veterans nursing homes in in the state of Illinois. There's uh, how many, Phil? We we send money to four different ones here in Illinois. Awesome. And, and how many years have you guys been doing this now? For myself, I'm new at this. My brother handled it before he passed away, and I kind of stepped into some big shoes. So, like a kid on his first date, this is, you know, I'm, it's a learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. I've been doing it uh, about, I guess, six years now. Awesome. And how did this idea first get started several years ago? Well, I, if you don't mind me reading. Go ahead. After World War I, the poppy flourished in Europe. Scientists attributed the growth to soils in France and Belgium becoming enriched with lime from the rubble left by the war. From the dirt and mud grew a beautiful red poppy. The red poppy came to symbolize the blood shed during battle following the publication of the wartime poem in Flanders field, Fields. The poem was written by Lieutenant Colonel John McCray, M.D., while serving on the front lines. On September the 27th, 1920, the poppy became the official flower of the American Legion family to memorialize the soldiers who fought and died during the war. In 1921, the distribution of poppies became a national program of the American Legion. Led by the American Legion Auxiliary, each year members of the American Legion family distribute poppies with the request that the person receiving the flower make a donation to support the future of veterans, active duty, military personnel. Poppy Day's Day is celebrated in countries around the world, like what you've got up there. The American Legion brought National Poppy Days to the United States by asking Congress to designate the Friday before Memorial Day as National Poppy Day on May 26th, wear a red poppy to honor the fallen and support the living who have, want, uh, who have uh, worn our nation's uniform. It didn't seem right when I said that. That is awesome. Um, so remind us again where you guys will be coming up here these next few days. We will be at uh, both Walmarts in Peoria both Snucks and both high vs and uh, we'll be there from 10 in the morning till 6 in the evening. Awesome. Well, come on out and support our nation's vets. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Well, well thank uh, Phil's got something to read here. Oh. Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Now, uh, it's a little emotional, but I'll try to get through it. Okay. It was written and sent to the George Shadid, who was a previous uh, poppy chairman 
and it was written, given to us May 20th at 2002, which isn't a long ways away. But <clears throat> it reads, I was born December 29th, 1917, amidst <clears throat> World, World War I. My life has been affected by war since I was born. I am housebound and missing poppy days. <clears throat> Please accept my small donation. I am the mother of three veterans' sons. I lost two uncles in, <clears throat> in World War I. I am another was gassed in France, one brother and many cousins, friends in World War II. I have little money to give but heartfelt thanks to all the people who help our veterans. God bless you. Mary L. Barr. What makes this so emotional for you? It's real. It's, nobody wrote... She wrote it. And, <laughs> and she had little to give. And she saw a war through family, friends, so. And we've learned uh, showing emotion. Anybody that can't cry has, uh, well, they're, they're ready to go to the psychiatrist. If you can't cry, you have no more emotion. Without emotion, you're not, uh, you're not a human being. Certainly so many emotions, and whether you can give a lot or even a little, it certainly makes all the difference in the world. Gentlemen, thank you so much for sharing that story thank today you. and for being here. We'll be right back. Thank you.